you know, not as good a practice as I uh, wanted today. But uh, uh, we've got to go back and really work hard and make sure that we've got a great practice tomorrow. We really, it, it's, it's vital. Uh, defensively, we practiced really well. Offensively, we were a little sluggish. But uh, we, we can fix that, and we have to fix it so that we can play a great game on Saturday. And I'm looking forward to doing just that. Questions? Part of it, no question. Uh, we're resting Kevin, and hopefully we'll get him back tomorrow. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We got to be ready to play if he can't play. But uh, we're hopeful that he will be able to. Put a percentage on it, maybe. I, I don't have to, so I don't need to. Well, we've got to, you know, we, 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 we've been there before. We've been that team that's uh, not thought well of, and, and so we've got to uh, got to find ways to motivate ourselves and, and, and understand that they're going to be a very motivated outfit too. Uh, Paul Wolf's a good coach. They're, they're a hard-working football team. They're going to want nothing more than come in here and knock off a team that uh, just gained a little bit of national acclaim. We have to make sure that we take care of our own affairs and make sure we come out with the same amount of intensity we've had each of the last couple of weeks. Coach Akeem Ayers, Mod Impact Player of the Week. We see what he does on the field, but what about him uh, makes up for the, the stuff that he's doing off the field, the character stuff? Well, you know, he's a, he's a neat kid. He's, uh, you know, obviously matured a lot since he's been here. He's taken uh, his role as a leader seriously. He's been voted one of our captains, and I believe that uh, – you know, his instincts are, are certainly a calling card for him, but he's using them at, the, at, at a wise time rather than just trying to run, make every play and, and voiding places. Uh, and, and, you know, he had a couple of mistakes early in the first game of the year, and I think he's, he's uh, understood that he can't do that anymore and be the leader of this football team. And so uh, we're, we're uh, reaping the benefits. And then in the last couple of weeks, physically, how has he just kind of been standing out as one of the best? Well, he's, uh, he's a dual threat because he's a great pass rusher. And he uh, gives tackles, uh, you know, fits. But then he also can drop back and, and, and read quarterback's eyes and get, use his instincts to, to get in the way of uh, intended passes. So uh, we're, we're uh, enjoying his exploits, no question. Did you think Riley's going to get a little bit more run today? Are you looking at this game as a chance for some of those young guys? No, we're playing this game to go win this game. We're going to need everybody to, to go do that. We are not looking ahead at all. We want to play our best, find a way to get our first conference win. How did Richard Brio do today? Uh, good. You know, uh, getting him back into, into making all the right reads and all the stuff. And, uh, you know, if he has to play, he'll he'll play well. Is there, is there how much do you weigh Kevin's long-term, you know, uh, health as opposed to getting him in here. If he's ready to play, he'll he'll go to play. We're not. There's no reason to say we're not that kind of team where we can save guys. Will he, does he need to practice tomorrow to play on Saturday? Uh, it would be my hope that he would be able to practice tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't rule him out if he can't go tomorrow that I, he still couldn't handle the chores on Saturday. He's had enough experience to do that. Game time decision. Game time decision. <laughs> Any further test plan? Huh? Any further tests? Planned? For him? No. No. The tests were conclusive. There's no issue. It's just soreness. Everybody good? All right, thanks.